Today I am back with another video and if you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. If you are a subscriber of mine, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out another video. Um, if you aren't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on if you are interested in beauty, natural hair, um, just all things beauty related. This is the channel for you, and I'm pretty sure you watched more than one of my videos if you're watching this one already, so just just subscribe already. Nonetheless, um, I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday my everyday makeup routine. Um, this is pretty much what I do when I'm going to work. Um, I have some, actually most of my products are not high end for this video because usually when I go to work, I just usually wear like my you know, drugstore kind of stuff. Um, I might have some high-end products in there. I don't really know. I kind of laid it all out, but um, I will get into all the products that I'm using. I'm actually going to talk through this video, which I usually don't do. I usually do a voiceover, but I'm just kind of going to talk through the video, and I'll probably show you guys how I do my brows, um, which I haven't done in a while. I do have a dedicated easy eyebrow routine, which I will have... Um, linked up in the cards and down in the description box but I am going to go through that probably not in detail in this video but I am going to show you guys that process as well so let's just hop, hop right into it since I'm going to be talking through this part of the video first I'm going to start my primer I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay primer potion in this is the original formula and I'm just gonna apply that to my eyelids and my brows next I'm gonna go in with the hydrogel lift by pure cosmetics and I'm just gonna apply that underneath my eyes so I usually try to get all my priming in my face pretty much on my face before I start anything just so that it's um, kind of sitting on my face for a while before I start applying my foundation. The, moisture that, the moisturizer that I'm going to be using today, I really like this one under my foundation so I actually don't keep this in my bathroom. I literally keep it on my makeup counter. Um, it's the Neutrogena Oil Free Moisturizer. It's the pink grapefruit one. I really, really like this one under my foundation because I feel like it um, fills in my pores. So I really like this one under it and it's really, really lightweight. Next, I'm gonna go in with a serum. This is the DDF Wrinkle Resist Plus Pore Mineralizer Moisturizing Serum. I'm gonna go in with this as well to prime my face. I really like the serum underneath my foundation. I haven't used it in a while, but I've been, I've recently been using it a lot recently, which is why I'm including it in the video. And then again, this is just another primer to help minimize my pore. And then these are kind of the products that I want to kind of seep into my skin before I actually go in and apply my foundation. So I'm going to start working on my brows while I let that get situated. So for my brows, I'm going to go in, I'm, I've been using these pencils a lot. I have the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencils. I have it in black brown and medium brown, which is like the darkest, the darkest and like, I don't know, whatever. I'm using these two um, first just to kind of draw the outline of my brows. So at the end, the tail end of my brows, I use the black brow. And then obviously towards the front, I use the shade medium brown. I could use medium brown for my entire brow, but I kind of like how it kind of, it gets darker towards the end. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to talk through my brows. I'm pretty much just going to show you if you guys want the details on my brows. I will have that video linked down below, but I will, I'm just going to go through this really, I mean, quickly as I possibly can and I'll be back.
Okay, now I'm on to the fun part. <laughs> um, the brows are usually the most tedious part, but now we're gonna move back into the face. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with my last primer. This one is, is kind of one that I'm just trying to finish up. It's the Stila One Step um, Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Serum. Um, I really like this one. I've used it for years. Um, but I'm actually just trying to finish this one up so I can try out a new one. And I really didn't want to buy something new um, until I'm finished. Next, I'm going to go in and set my primer. I learned this from Jackie Ina. And I actually really like doing this. Sorry, I'm making... Where's my other beauty blender? Okay. Um, I got this from her and I actually really like doing it. I'm going to take um, some finishing powder. This is my black opal finishing powder. Sorry, I went back to it for a second, um, but these are kind of the, the stuff that I use, like I said, when I'm going to work, um, more drugstore-based stuff, and I'm just going to set um, my primer in like, kind of like my T-zone area, and just do that, plus it gives a little extra coverage to me, um, so I'm going to go in with that. And that's really all that I use my black opal finishing powder in deep now for. I really don't use it all over my face anymore. Um, just because, you know, I have some other powders. Um, next, so sometimes I contour and highlight after my foundation. Sometimes I contour and highlight before my foundation. It just depends on my mood. Um, today I am going to contour before my contour and highlight before my foundation just because that's what I'm in the mood for I don't know so for my contour I'm gonna go in with my LA girl pro conceal in mahogany and I apply a little bit for like every day I just kind of do like that much um, and then I'll do a little bit on my forehead not too much And then for my highlight, I'm going to use my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I'm going to use the shade Golden to highlight. And with my eye highlight, I literally just apply it right in there like that. And I do a little bit down here, not too much. Keep it well. And I don't always do all these areas. Every day, I do underneath my eyes. If I'm feeling a little bit extra, I'll do everything else. But I don't always do like my forehead, my chin, and my nose, but today I am. And then I'm just going to kind of go through and blend all of that out. Today I'm going to be use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade Coconut. Um, I haven't used, I, th this kind of changes throughout. I either use this, sometimes I use the CoverGirl, um, I think it was like the True Match, that popular one they had for a while. I like that one. I'm in the shade D50 in that one or D40. D40 is um, not my preferred shade. Um, but that's the one I have left. I ran out of D50, but I love that foundation. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to go on with my beauty blender. I can use a beauty blender or a brush. Um, but today I'm going to use a beauty blender and I just poured out a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to blend that in.
Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my setting powder to set those highlighted areas. I'm just going to go over kind of one last time just to make sure there's no creasing before I go in and set. I'm going to use my, this is my Ben Nye banana powder in tote bath and banana uh, mixed together. And I'm just going to use that to set those highlighted areas really just underneath my eye and then whatever's left I'll set everywhere else. black radiance um, contour palette and I'm going to use this is the medium dark one and I'm going to go into this shade right here sculpt and I just apply that all over my lids with like just a big fluffy brush just to kind of give it a wash of color nothing too major it kind of matches my skin tone um, I'm not going in with any other eyeshadow I just use this kind of to set the concealer that I put on my lid and just to give it a little a little some kind of color there now I'm gonna go back into that same palette and I'm gonna use the contour shade and I'm just going to set my contour before I set the rest of my face I'm gonna go in with this multitask brush and just brush away that excess powder from my face and I keep this brush handy because I'm So I think it had stopped recording for a minute, but all I did was um, apply this inner tear duct highlight, um, which was, it was the Juvia's Pace Heroin Glow One Highlighter. And I just apply that in my inner tear duct. And then, I know you guys are like, girl, you look crazy. I'm getting, it's getting done. And then I set my, um, initially set my face with the Mario Badescu Rosewater, um, you know, that. I use that and then I'm once I let that dry I'm gonna do my hair and then I will be back to put on the finishing touches of this everyday makeup look and then we will be done with the video so I will be back after I you know fix my hair and I'll put the final touches and then we'll be done with this video I'm gonna go in with my with within with my mascara I'm gonna use the covergirl flourish lash blast mascara and I'm also gonna use the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara so I usually go in with the the brush that kind of is the thinnest first so whichever mascara that I'm using I always use two um, whichever brush is like the thinnest like this um, this one from covergirl it's pretty thin um, as far as like the brush the brushes aren't really full and I'm gonna go in and apply that first and the easiest way I find to apply mascara is if you look down into a mirror as opposed to like going like you know looking straight into a mirror I kind of hold my mirror like down here and then apply it that way it's not I'm not poking myself in my eye which I tend to do a lot then I'm gonna go in with the other mascara which is a little bit fuller a lot fuller this mascara literally reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara I love this mascara it has become actually one of my favorites. It's the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I love this mascara. I just think it makes my lashes look super full, super thick, super black. Because I don't wear lashes, guys. You guys know that. I never, ever, 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 ever wear lashes. Lashes. Because I just don't have to And then sometimes if I want to just separate my lashes a little bit more, I'll just go in with like a little spoolie and separate them make sure it's not clumpy remove any excess kind of mascara clumps or balls but i just love how this mascara makes my eyes look i love it so lastly i'm gonna go in with another setting spray this is more of like a mattifying setting spray i really like this one this is from pearl essence it's a white charcoal mattifying setting spray i really like this one i got it at my local marshall's um i don't know if they actually sell these anywhere else you know marshall's usually have like 
I don't know the stuff that are either discontinued or I don't know but I like this one it's really really nice um, and I feel like my foundation does stay very very matte I got a, a little OD and I'm just gonna kind of I don't like pressing too much in my in my skin with um, mattifying sprays um, this particular one I don't mind so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit with my beauty blender that I used for my foundation and just kind of pat in very very lightly I don't like do it the same way I do my foundation because I find that if I do that then my that's my everyday makeup routine i hope you guys enjoy this video i will definitely see you in my next one thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel if you guys are interested in my ebook five tips of how to start a natural hair care regimen make sure you check down in the description box so you can purchase that if you're interested in having one-on-one -on -one hair consultations with me also check out the links in your description box if you are new to my channel and you enjoyed this type of video please make sure to subscribe and turn all your notifications notifications on so you do not miss when I upload and I will see you guys next time thank you so much for stopping in and yeah I will see you in the next one bye